What's going on guys, Patrick here. So, we are doing our shoulder workout today, but before we get into that, I wanted to talk to you guys um, about something really quick that, you know, I've been thinking about a lot lately and it's, it's something that I remember from when I was younger, but <clears throat> you've gotta really like working out, or, or at least, let me turn the Phil Collins down for a sec. You know, you've gotta really like working out in terms of not getting tired of it. I think I kind of realized, you know, I started working out after high school and I loved it. I loved it for, you know, years and years because I saw immediate progress and, and immediate gains. And um, I had this weird weight transition in high school where I went from chubby to super skinny um, to then, you know, I started putting on some muscle. And, and you know, that was an amazing, amazing thing to me. Um, but you know, then the years go by and, and, and you hit plateaus and, and you have pauses and things like that. So one thing you guys have to do is, is stay positive, but you have to really figure out um, how to make yourself love working out, regardless of what it is, if, if it's weight training, if it's CrossFit, if it's yoga, whatever it is, you've gotta really love it or you're gonna stop doing it or you're gonna keep doing it and you're gonna resent it and hate it and then eventually one day you'll stop and you'll stop for years. Um, you know, I had a period after I'd been working out for a couple years that I stopped working out for like six to eight months. And, and you know, I think that was good for me in a sense that I, when I got back into it, I really, really regretted that, that you know, that big gap because the only thing I could think of was, oh man, where would I have been if I hadn't stopped for those six to eight months? So, you know, that's something to think about guys is figure out what you can do to love the way you're working out. I've, I've realized that I work out way better if, if I have fun, if I get into the music, if I really get into it and, and I have some intensity um, as opposed to just going to the gym and, and lifting and, and leaving and, and you know, I want to have fun every time I work out. As much as I want to see progress, I want there to be something fun happening. I want to be enjoying it. I want to, you know, have one or two lifts that are my favorite that I love to do, but I want to have other lifts that I suck at that I can see myself progressing in. That way, you know, that way I see a positive path ahead and not just a stagnant, um, you know, just course of six months to a year of doing the same shit over and over. And then I realize, damn, I fucking hate this and then I stop so uh, I brought this up because you know I've I've been training my shoulders I think not as well as I should um, you know I think they're an underdeveloped part of my body and I'm gonna start switching it up so that I don't get tired of you know shoulder day and then that just leads into every other type of workout um, I want every aspect of, of my workouts from my favorite to my least favorite to be something that I still want to do. So I'm switching up my shoulder training. I'm going to start something new for the next six months. I think six months is a pretty decent period to see if something's working for you. Um, because you know, I've really fallen behind with that and not necessarily in terms of strength, but just in terms of, I have big shoulders, but I don't have like well-developed, see every head of your shoulder type shoulders. Um, you know, I several months ago, I started working on my rear delts a lot, which has helped with a lot of, you know, shoulder pain issues I had, where I had really horrible impingements coming forward, and I started doing a lot of rear delt stuff, guys, and, you know, it, it, it made a, a world's worth of difference. So there's a lot of great videos on YouTube if you have shoulder problems or shoulder impingements. But um, I just wanted to bring it up because, you know, let's say you have a lacking body part um, or, or just working out in general, you have something going wrong where it's stagnant and nothing's changing. Mix it up, guys. Find something that you can add into your routine or to your workouts that makes you love it. That way you don't quit. Um, that way you don't get tired of it. And that way, even if you hit plateaus, you know that that's just a natural part of the cycle and eventually you're gonna break through it and you're gonna be better than ever. So I just wanted to have that quick little rant about that before I uh, get into the shoulder workout today. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I will see you soon.
the sun To dream, believe In strength now I'm the only one Only one Superhero. 